Hi everyone. For today's video, I decided I'd share how I decorated my guest room for spring. This room is made up of lots of pieces that have been given to me by my mom, mother-in-law, family members, and what hasn't been given to me, I've thrifted either at the Crossroads Country Mall or at antique shops or thrift stores. This picture is a needlepoint. My sister made this many years ago. And after my sister passed away, after my husband and I bought our first home together, my brother-in-law had this framed and gave it to us as a housewarming gift. I personally couldn't have asked for a more perfect gift than this. And this is how I decorated the shelf. I thought I'd keep it nice and simple by adding some bright, colorful spring flowers. I added this cute little pitberry bird nest right in the center. And on a couple of the pegs, I added a little basket and a little blue bonnet. I've wanted to redecorate this room for quite a while. I have a lot of primitive antique vintage toys. I wanted to be able to add them to this room, but I didn't want the room to just look like a child's room. I wanted it to look like a nanny's room. So I've also added pieces that I think might have been in a nanny's room long ago. This dresser I picked up a few years ago at Goodwill. This little rocker belonged to one of my brothers and this little rocker is now almost 60 years old. I thought it looked sweet just to add this little pillow. On top of it, I added a fan because I can envision a nanny needing a fan. Placed this string of pearls. The string of pearls was my aunt's. The vintage handkerchiefs were either my grandma's or my aunt's. They were given to me um, last year by my cousin. And this sweet little picture, I thrifted that. I have a lot of lamps, but not many pairs. Goodwill is a great place to find lamps, but normally they only have one. And a lot of times they don't even have the shades with the lamp. And this one was not sold with the lamp, but I think it really goes nicely with it. I decided to keep the bed nice and simple. I've shared this quilt in different videos that I've posted. I've had this video, or <laughs> I've had this quilt now, I think since 1995. I bought it off of a coworker. It was actually the first quilt she ever made. And I still love looking at this quilt. She did a wonderful job. And I was actually looking at it a little bit ago before I started um, getting ready to film this video and just look at the detail in the stitching of these hearts. She did all of this by hand. The little pillow, I did buy that last year. I saw it and I thought it was so sweet with that little saying, my happy place because that's how I want my guests to feel when they're staying in this room. I want them to feel like it's a nice, happy place for them to get some rest. This little nightstand was my grandma's. My cousin gave this to me last year when she gave me my Hoosier and a few other treasures. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a good view for you. By the looks of this, from what I've seen when I've looked it over, this looks like 
it might have possibly been handmade. I'm going to just move and get a better angle. The back of the nightstand has some markings. It looks like it might have been from an old crate. It is possible that maybe the back was just repaired at one point. Um, show you here. I think this is so beautiful. I don't know its exact age. It definitely looks old. And I picked this up, this pitcher and bowl, a few years ago at Goodwill. I thought it would look nice just to add some bright yellow daffodils for spring. This doll is a antique composition doll. My sister-in-law picked this doll up for me a few years ago at a yard sale. She bought it from the original owner. The lady is almost 90 years old. She said the doll was hers when she was very young. I don't believe the outfit is original. It was probably added some time over the years. I do want to get a different little outfit to put on this doll. Um, I just haven't been able to find one yet. And I haven't done anything to treat this doll. I know that you can have them uh, protected and stuff so that they don't decompose anymore. But I haven't done anything like that to her yet. Not sure if I'm going to. The vintage giraffe ride-on toy was made by PlaySchool around the 1960s. It is missing the handles, but I thought it was too adorable to pass by. And I purchased this at the Not Dot Shop in Geneseo, New York. Above the nightstand, I hung a mirror. And I love this mirror because it has these little shutters. And it's nice to be able to hang things on the shutters. So I added this vintage doll dress. It also has a little hat. I'm going to go back and give you a closer look just so you can see the detail because I'm kind of standing far away just so that I could give you a look at this dress hanging on the shutter, but it's so pretty. I picked this up a couple months ago at the Crossroads Country Mall. It was handmade and they did a beautiful job. I haven't washed it because I didn't want to have the material fall apart. So I just dusted it and shook it and just cleaned it that way. I think this little hat is so adorable. So tiny. This vintage sewing machine was my grandma's. My cousin also gave this to me. And what this does is this folds out. It's a nice workstation. And then the sewing machine lifts up. I've not tried it out yet. I do want to at some point, but haven't had a chance to do that yet. And I actually have a few different things in here that were my grandma's. And I'm really excited to show them to you. So this little sewing box was also my grandma's. My mom gave this to me a couple years ago. The calico bonnet and apron, I found that online. If the seller still has these available, I'll be sure to link it below in my description box. The little hanger came from a yard sale and the quilted picture that was actually a Goodwill find. And this little thread hanger, my husband's grandma gave me. 
And I added a few old vintage spools that were my grandma's. So it just is so nice to be able to add things that were my grandma's to this room. And I just love that I have one of the sewing machines that belonged to my grandma. It just feels like it helps to complete this room. I've had a lot of her pieces for many years and I've had them just scattered around my home in different areas. But to be able to have so many of them all together in one space just really feels so special. This little cradle was mine whenever I was little. This was a play toy. I have the little high chair to go with it. I've decorated with them before and shared those in videos. I actually have a primitive cradle, but it was too big to fit in this area. So I thought, okay, I will just add this one. And I think it fits that space perfectly. And here, the foot of the bed, I tucked two old suitcases. So these suitcases are very special too. And I have a story to go with them. So the blue one, that was my grandma's suitcase. Yep, it was. My grandma traveled once to Arizona all by herself to visit my aunt and uncle. And she used this suitcase. And the brown suitcase was my mom's. And my mom, my dad bought this suitcase for my mom back when she was getting ready to have her first baby. And that was over 65 years ago, about 64, 65 years ago. And my mom took this suitcase to the hospital with her every time she had one of her babies. And my mom had seven children. So it is so sweet to have both of these suitcases. My German cuckoo clock was a gift from my husband about 25 years ago. It still works perfectly for its age. I just turned it off while I'm filming this video because I didn't want all of the extra background noise. I have lots of goodies over on this baker's rack to show you. I used to keep this baker's rack in my kitchen and dining room for a while, but after I did some redecorating, I decided I'd put it in here. This is a old primitive bird trap. I bought it at the Crossroads Country Mall, and you can see that the trap part is actually made from horse hair. I love that it's still in really good condition for its age. The wood is very old and weathered. And I just added some special things. These paintbrushes were my sister's. My sister passed away when she was 37 years old. I was only 19. My sister was very creative. She was a wonderful painter and she would use these brushes. She, her favorite um, form of painting was oil painting. And I added a couple of old books. The little baby rattles were actually mine when I was a baby. And my mom kept them all those years and she gave them to me a long time ago. Uh, I just, for a lot of time, I never really did anything with them, but I thought they would look perfect to be added into this room now. The harmonica was my husband's grandfather's. This little horse, I picked that up at Goodwill. The lantern isn't old. It was actually from Hobby Lobby. But I think they still have 
this style. If I can find it, I'll link it below in my description box. The stackable boxes, this little antique trumpet toy and the candles were all purchased at the Crossroads Country Mall. The Crossroads Country Mall is located in Lima, New York, and I mention it in many of my videos. And I also have a series that I do there. A lot of um, thrifting, decorating. So if you haven't had a chance to check out that series and you'd like to see it, I'll be sure to link it below in my description box. And I also have a case at the Crossroads Country Mall. These blocks my sister-in-law found for me, um, I think probably about a year or two ago at a yard sale. And she also found me this little sign. I think it's so cute. And this primitive doll came from the Crossroads Country Mall. And I just think this doll is so precious. And it was all handmade and it is filled with straw. This little wind up toy, it still works. This was my uncle's. My uncle loved antiques and he was a collector. So was my aunt and my uncle gave this to my mom a long time ago and I always loved it. And I'd say probably about five years ago, my mom gave it to me. These little rattles were also mine when I was a baby. I'm just gonna take a step back here and show you, give you a full look here so far before I go down and show you the other shelves. Oh, I almost forgot this. This, my mom always called this a little kimono. I don't know if that's the actual term, but it was mine when I was a baby. And I thought it would just look cute to hang it there. So and I am, I'm 48, you guys, soon to be 49 this um, July. So it is at least... 48 years old because I was probably maybe two or three months old when my mom wore that on me. And here is some more special things. Um, so this afghan my grandma made for me. It has pink fringes, but you can't see it because it's on the other end of the blanket. And... This little quilt, that was my husband's. Um, this little, this little quilt here with the needle point, I purchased at the Crossroads Country Mall and it is so sweet. I've shared that one other time in a video. And this is a old baby scale and you can see the See if I can get closer here. You can see the little babies. Then I added a pair of vintage baby shoes. I also purchased the baby shoes at the Crossroads Country Mall. My sister-in-law found the scale for me at a yard sale. And this box, I'm gonna get a little closer here. Let me, I gotta sit down, you guys. It's like I was trying to, be on my knees there to try to film and I was just too uncomfortable. So this box, and I've shared this box, I think one other time. This was my grandma's. My grandma gave it to my mom a long time ago and now it's mine. And I love decorating with it. I love the winter scene and these old dominoes. My sister-in-law found those for me at a yard sale and these are wooden dominoes and it has the whole set I like looking at those I love what is it about old boxes I love old boxes 
I love the graphics that were on the boxes long ago. And these checkers, these probably aren't too old. Um, I don't know, maybe late seventies. My aunt gave me that and I just thought it would look nice to add that in. I purchased this little shoe stretcher at a festival. They had some vendors that were um, set up. And I thought that was so cute. It's just for like a child's size. Um, a little old wooden bucket. And I filled it with some old Tinker Toy pieces. I have the rest of the Tinker Toys, but they're currently decorating my icebox out in my living room. And I thought, what am I gonna do with all the little pieces that aren't being used right now? So I thought it'd look cute just to add them in with my little gingerbreads that I made. I made these grubby gingerbreads last year, I think, and I like them. And have some old books. This little old bike. I don't think it's probably that old. I think it's just a replica made to look old. But either way, it is adorable. This is one of my favorite antique toys. Not only because I love the color, but at one time it had a rooster. Part of it was missing whenever it was bought, but I still think it's so cute. In this birdcage, I found that at a Goodwill, and I love decorating this. And I've shared that before on my channel, how I've decorated a vintage birdcage. And I just placed some beautiful spring daisies. I love daisies. Daisies are my favorite flower. And I added this little, I hope you can get a good view because of the, the cage, but there's a, a cute little bird nest tucked inside there with a couple little eggs and this little bird. It's so cute. Nice little, nice little way to decorate for spring. I think I forgot to show you these couple pieces. This is an old cheese box. Not sure how old it is. I placed a antique oil can inside. Some old, some old measuring sticks. Um, one of them was my dad's. This yellow one with the green. That was my dad's and I placed a spool and some old buttons inside that blue glass mason jar with the zinc lid. And the mason jar and the zinc lid were both my grandma's. My aunt made this doily. I do have a couple, well I actually have, I have um, a pair of these ones, but I have a ton of doilies that my aunt, my grandma, and my cousin made. And I don't want to forget to show you this picture. I did share this when I purchased it in a haul video. It's a Norman Rockwell, and I think the picture of the baby is so cute. And it's Mama's putting on its little bib, so cute. And I'll show you here where it says the Norman Rockwell. But that's a really sweet vintage picture. So now I'll just go around and show you how the whole layout of the room looks. In this part of the video, I'll set to music. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and that I inspired you.